Okay, so questions uh, 104 to 107. Uh, this is about buffers, and it's very good to get this language clear in your mind that, um, that the acid is HA and its conjugate base is A minus. Okay, and, and if you ever have problems with that, always think of a base, OH minus, famous base. Okay, so you know that the base is the deprotonated form and the acid is the protonated form. It's the HA, that is the acid. So um, anyway, they describe buffers being a, a weak acid in its conjugate base. Uh, it talks about pH of blood being 7.4 and uh, um, the carbonate buffer and so on. And, and they identify what is the conjugate base. Okay, very good. So um, looking at the first question, the, a carbonate buffer solution is made by adding a certain volume of 0.15 uh, dihydro dihydrogen carbonate. No one calls it that. Everyone calls it carbonic acid. But n nonetheless, dihydrogen carbonate solution to an equal volume of 0 uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate. <laughs> Most people will call it bicarbonate, but it's okay. Sodium hydrogen carbonate solution. The pH of the resulting uh, solution is... So to calculate the pH, we use the equation that, uh, that has been provided to us, and pH is equal to uh, pKa, and uh, we're told that the Ka is the acidity constant of the weak acid. So this is for the weak acid, okay? Um, that's what they, they tell us right underneath the equation, and then plus uh, log of the, um, the base, the conjugate base, over the uh, over the acid, but the 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 base over the acid, which is going to be um, uh, our base is HCO three minus over the acid, which is dihydrogen um, carbonate uh, over here. So it's the protonated form is the acid, like HCl H two S O four. That's the acid, and then up here you have the deprotonated form. Um, which is the anion, um, and so it's this ratio, but the concentrations of each is the same. So if the concentrations of each is the same, then this number is one, and the log of one is zero. Have you done enough log rules uh, for today? Um, so uh, here, the log of one is zero, so then we end up just getting pH is equal to pKa of the weak acid. And the weak acid is the protonated form, the dihydrogen carbonate. So um, 104, the answer is A. 105, a buffer solution is prepared by adding 40 mils of that sodium dihydrogen and sodium, da, 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 which of the following is closest to the pH of the solution? <clears throat> so again, uh, we're, we're using uh, pH is equal to uh, pKa and uh, plus we have the logarithm of <clears throat> so now we're going to have uh, two solution we have 40 mils so I'm not going to talk about milliliters anymore I'm going to talk about uh, liters because I know that 0.250 <clears throat> is moles per liter. So we have 0 0.04 um, liters times 0 0.250 moles per liter. So uh, that's four, you know, four times 25, that's going to give me um, 100. And then I just have to move the, um, the decimal points. Of course, you could do this all by hand, but I'm just uh, the way that I would do it. And so I'm going to have, um, and this is for dihydrogen phosphate so that is the uh, protonated form dihydrogen phosphate is the protonated form because the other form hydrogen phosphate lost one proton so I put the protonated form here in the basement so I'm going to put 0 0.01 uh, over X so uh, you know I do it in my head but you can do it any way you would like but don't use a calculator um, and then uh, for the for the other one we have 0 0.025 not 25 mils but 0 0.025 times 0 0.2 so uh, that's going to end up being 0 0.005 
Okay, so you're saying, why did I put X's there? <laughs> um, I put X's there because I, I don't know what the volume is, and we just calculated the number of moles. This is the number of moles, so, but this is supposed to be a concentration in moles per liter. I don't know what the volume is, but I know whatever the volume is for this number of moles, it's the same volume that this is in because we're putting both in the same container. So I just put the X's there, but I know that these X's cancel. <laughs> But I just want you to know that, uh, you know, I've, th I've thought about the X's. I've given it some, uh, you know, just some, uh, th a little bit. But anyway, so, um, so we have 0 0.005 over 0 0.01. So that's if I start moving my decimals over, 1, 2, uh, decimals over 1, 2, uh, then I end up getting 0 0.5 over 1. So that's just half. So right here I have... Um, um, log of a half and log of a half is the same thing as saying negative log 2 so this is another one of the log rules so log 1 over x is the same thing as log uh, x to the minus 1 which is the same thing you could bring the exponent over to the front and that's the same thing as negative log x okay so um, so I have log 1 half that's the same thing as saying negative log 2. So I have pKa, and the pKa of the, um, of the uh, acid form here is uh, how much? Let me see. pKa is 7.21 for, um, for the phosphate. So we have 7.21 minus log 2, log 2, because we had a half. So it's minus log 2, and then... Um, <clears throat> I know log 2 off by heart. No, I don't. Okay, so uh, log 2 base 10 is, uh, is 0.3. So log 2 is 0 0.3. So we have 7.21 minus 0.3. So then that's 6.91. So that's the pH of the solution. And that's it. And if you uh, want to uh, review some uh, acid bases, you can go to uh, chapter 4. Oh, there's more questions. <laughs> oh my. So uh, question uh, 106, uh, continuing along with this. Consider a situation in which the only buffer available to maintain blood at its normal pH <clears throat> is about 7.4. To maintain the pH of blood at its normal value, the amount of dihydrogen carbonate in the buffer solution should be closest to. <clears throat> okay, so we want a uh, pH of 7.4. That's normal pH in our system. And um, so we have uh, the, using the same equation, we're going to take the pKa of the bicarbonate system and the pKa of the bicarbonate system is 6.37 so we have 6.37 pK plus <clears throat> we'll have the log of the anion form the base form up here which is HCO3 minus over the acid form which is the protonated form which is H2CO3 um, like that Okay, perfect. So uh, this is uh, the same as, of course, 6.4, and we're going to um, uh, subtract that uh, from both sides. So we get 1 on this side, and that's equal to log of um, all these other things. So that's where we are so far. And uh, to get rid of the log, we raise both sides to the power of 10. So we raise both sides to the power of 10, just like that. And... Uh, what we end up getting on this side is the number 10. What we end up getting on the other side is the stuff in here. So, um, so if you have 10 log um, base 10 uh, of A, this is equal to A. So that's just one of the rules of logarithms. So I'm able to put this ratio now right here in front of the 10, <clears throat> like so. And... Um, the protonated form down here and there's our answer <clears throat> so we know that we we must have 10 times more of this form the bicarbonate form 
Or the other way of saying it, you would have to have one-tenth of the acid form. So one of those could be uh, the answer. So the answer is A. <clears throat> 106 is A. And uh, if you have an old edition of um, uh, the book, you know, there may have been a, an error, I think, in the answer choices. But um, if, you, if you have the ebook, then you are smiling. Uh, the answer is A. There's no confusion. Um, carry on. <laughs> so, uh, the next question uh, phosphoric acid is a triprotic acid. It's three deprotonation reactions, and their th pK values are as follows. Okay, and you see the pK. Although three buffer systems are possible for phosphoric acid, only the second of these is found in the human body. The reason for this is triprotic acids are not found in human systems. Um, uh, who, who knows? Uh, the, the, the pK value is similar to the pH value of blood plasma. This, this is important. And it's true. Um, the, the next one is a very low or very high pK value reduces buffering capacity. No, you can have buffers at different pHs. There's no doubt. Um, so the pK value is similar to the pH of, of a value of blood plasma, and that maximizes um, the uh, buffering capability. And you can see here that if you have a pKa value that is close to um, blood plasma, okay, if it's close to blood, then you don't have to have such vast changes over here for this, because if this is already close, then these changes can be more reasonable. But if this number is not close, you might have to have a thousand time changes uh, or, 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 or 10,000 time changes because, um, you know, the numbers can be become uh, exponential. So, it's, it's clear that if this is close, then it's much better. And by the way, it's not just in this case where 107 is clearly answer B, but <clears throat> Acer does uh, like to ask questions also about indicators, and we didn't have any on this particular exam, but they like to ask uh, questions about indicators. And when you choose an indicator for a solution, you try to choose an indicator that has a pKa value that is near the pH of the solution and that it'll, it'll be easier to watch the change in colors. So that's um, you know something to keep in mind. And, uh, and if you are uh, doing your uh, science review still, then uh, you may want to uh, review these uh, chapters because it's relevant to the question of acids and bases.